Hello, and welcome to the Church of Fuck You. I'm St. Patrick. Well, I know there's been a lot of conversation and discussions going on regarding the whole climate change crisis that is bearing down on our, our planet. And I know people have many different suggestions on what we should do, but I have come up with three simple, easy to install, simple things that we can do in order to combat this global warming or AKA climate change crisis. Now, step number one. Now, again, all these are very simple. Step number one, we can no longer have any affiliations or any business dealings with any country that is destroying our planet. So any country that has high pollution or high CO2 levels, we can no longer buy anything from that country or have any business dealings with that country. So obviously the first one will be China because China is pretty much killing the planet by itself, according to some people. Now I know they're trying to reduce their shit, but right now they're still killing the planet. So we can no longer buy anything from China at all. iPhones, computers, uh, anything, clothes, shoes, anything, toys, anything made in China you can no longer buy. Because when you buy it, you're supporting the manufacturing process, and the manufacturing process is killing the planet, and we don't want to kill the planet. So that's it. No more buying shit from China, and no more business dealings with India as well. So if your computer breaks, then you're just royally fucked, because apparently all our IT is in fucking India now. But that's okay. We can go without computers, and we can go without iPhones, and we can go with all that shit, because we're going to save the planet. Step number two. It's like I call... Rolling blackouts. And this is where one week out of a year, each state will not have any electricity whatsoever. Because apparently burning electricity puts CO2 in the air and we're killing the planet ourselves. So in order to combat that problem, we're just going to have it as simple as possible. One week out of the year, no electricity for one state. Now, it might not help for little states like Delaware or Rhode Island, you know, little shit like that. But once you start hitting Texas and California, you're in the clear. Now, I know some of you say, well, I need electricity because I, well, I like lights and, I, you know, I like to turn on the AC or the heat or whatever. Well, that's fine. I understand. So you can start buying solar panels and get all your energy from solar, from solar energy, which will be perfect. And that's what they're trying to do anyway. The only problem is... um. The top people or the top countries or the top companies, sorry, let me rephrase that. The top companies that sell the most solar panels are made in China. So you might want to get your shit from somewhere else because we're no longer doing it with them at all. Which I do find really fucking ironic is that we're trying to clean up our, our planet and clean up our, say, atmosphere and lower our emissions and lower our CO2 levels by going to the dirtiest fucking country in the world and getting our shit from them. It's so fucking ironic. It's it's amazing. But yes, that's what we're going to do. Rolling blackouts. During the summertime, we'll hit the states in the north so you guys won't fucking freeze to death. In the wintertime, we hit the states in the south. Now, some of you be like, that's kind of extreme. But come on now, we're talking about an extreme situation. I mean, Miami's going to be underwater in, what, less than two weeks, according to some experts. You know, the ice, what is it, the, the polar ice caps are melting. We're all going to be flooded. We're all going to have crazy tornadoes, and, and our planet is going to be doomed in 100 years, and we're not even going to have a planet, and all our children are going to die. So is one week of no electricity really that extreme to make sure your child has a, a planet to live on in 100 years? I don't think so. Now, the next one and the last one, this is actually going to be the, the, the best one of all. The number one thing we can do is limit population. Because if you actually read it and research it, which I find that uh, some people who, I guess, go on and spout about climate change and climate change and climate change, all they talk about is the big oil companies and, you know, the big companies that's making all these things and they're doing all this evil shit. Well, all actuality, it's uh, farms that are number one. By far, from animal, animal agriculture, from putting fertilizer in the ground to plant crops, you know, so food can grow, to even, you know, the chemicals that they spray on the food so this food can actually last and not get eaten up by bugs and all these uh, animals and shit like that. All that combined is by far the greatest threat or the greatest problem to the whole climate change situation. And the thing is, we actually need this shit because we have seven plus billion people in the world and supposedly these people like to eat. So in order to give these people food, we need to have these farms. In order to have these farms, our planet is going to get more fucked. So what do we do? We limit population. From now on, everyone can have one child. That's it. Going forward, starting today or start whenever they pass the law, one child, that's it. 
So by hopefully in 50 years when majority some people have died out, the population will start lowering and coming smaller. And then we can have less farms. And then we can have less, you know, have less plants and all this other shit that we need to actually live. We can have fewer. Those people will burn le less electricity because guess what? There are not that many people. See, which is amazing, which is why I said a little earlier about all the people saying, you know, it's all about the, the big corporations. It's actually not. The biggest problem with global warming, if you really, really fucking research it, is that they're trying to provide food for people and they're chopping down trees to make houses and all this other shit like furniture for people. That's the fucking problem. That is the biggest fucking issue. So if you really want to tackle global warming, start tackling the issue of the population. The population is growing and continues to grow and the problem is only going to get worse. You can regulate whatever the fuck you want to regulate. It's not going to, it's not going to change that fact. You can't put a fucking carbon tax on a cow. It's not going to do anything. So yes, you can do whatever you like and, and, and make it sound so wonderful and so joyful and so, and so magnificent like you're trying to save the planet. But if you all look at it from an actual standpoint, they aren't really doing shit. Because again, these three simple steps, easily simple steps, would help to reduce it almost immediately. And I know some of you be like, you know, that, again, that's just extreme. That's extreme. But again, according to some, we're in an extreme situation. Our planet is doomed. We're all going to die. Don't we, shouldn't we do something extreme to save it? Now, I know some people may comment, you know, Patrick, this is just ridiculous. Um, that's bullshit. You know, we can't be doing stuff like this. You know, we, we, that's just wrong and bad. What I find really interesting in all of this is that everyone is always on board. I'm not going to say everyone, but the people, the people who are, you know, trying to push for global warming change and reform, they're all on board as long as it doesn't affect them. As soon as it affects them personally or changes their life personally or affects their life personally, all of a sudden the conversation just starts to shift and change. I wonder how many people will be shouting at 99%, you know, 99% of the scientists believe blah, 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 if they didn't have lights for a week. Or if they only have one child. Or, I'm sorry, they have no fucking technology because all the shit is made in fucking China. You get my point. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. This is St. Patrick. I'll see you later.